Puppet Configuration Management, Section 2, Understanding how a Puppet Run works. Understanding Factor Prerequisites for this video, VM1 and the Puppet server should be running. When you run Vagrant status, VM1 should be in the state running. If this is not the case for you, please use Vagrant up VM1 to start VM1. If this is the first time you run Vagrant up VM1, please also use the quick start script we have provided to set up the Puppet server. For this, just connect with SSH to VM1, open a root shell with sudo, and run the quick start script. In this video, we are going to take a look at what factor is and why it is required for Puppet, how we can extend factor. So factor gets automatically installed with the Puppet agent. The Puppet agent has a requirement on factor. It is used to collect information about the system the Puppet agent is running on. Based on the facts collected, you are able to make decisions in your Puppet manifests. Factor supports simple facts, so key value pairs but they are considered legacy and in my opinion they are gonna be removed in one of the next major versions of Puppet and they are structured facts. So let's do a simple factor run now. Just execute factor. As you can see these are the facts factor collected from the system I'm running. So let's pipe the output to less and take a short look at the, at the facts we've collected. For example, you have a fact about the disks, the machine the fact is running in, which version of factor we are running, if this is a virtual machine, the kernel release, information about the swap and memory, mount points, and so on. As you can see, the default output of factor is JSON formatted. You can use factor-y to get the same output YAML formatted. We can also query specific facts, for example, factor os.family or factor os. I'm going to use calling factor os once again, but this time I'm using less so we can see the output. So this is every fact in the os section, the architecture, the family we have queried before, hardware information and so on. Let's now take a look at how Puppet uses Factor. Before the Puppet agent requests a catalog from the Puppet master, it calls Factor to gather information about this, the system. The facts are sent to the Puppet master, and based on the facts collected by the agent, the master compiles the catalog. When you're using Puppet Apply, so you're applying a um, Puppet manifest locally without the Puppet master, Factors also used to gather information about the system before the compiling the catalog locally. So we can try this now. I'm going to use a Puppet manifest. So Vagrant examples, Puppet configuration management, facts.pp. Let's look at the manifests first. Um, we define a, a message variable and depending on the OS family fact, we're defining the message running on Red Hat or running on yellow hat, or the default is running somewhere. So if we now use puppet apply with this manifest, we get the message running on Reddit. Because if we query the factor os.family fact again, you can see it's Red Hat. So factor enables us to make decisions in puppet manifests based on the facts collected. This was using factor with puppet apply, but we can also try to use this with the puppet master. Uh, for this I'm going to copy our example. So facts.p directory etc puppet labs code environment production manifests. When we now run the puppet agent You received the same message, but this time the catalog got compiled by the Puppet Master. 
Don't worry if you don't understand the environments. Production part here. We're going to talk about environments and how they are usable within Puppet in one of the next videos. So Fact is also quite extendable. Let's talk a little bit about custom facts. Basically there are two types of custom facts, static or executable. You can store the custom facts in the directory etc factor facts.t or etc puppet labs factor facts.t or opt puppet labs factor facts.t. I would recommend storing them in etc factor facts.t. And you can also sync your custom facts with Puppet. Just include them in, in your module in the directory facts.t. Static facts support simple text files, YAML or JSON documents. And executable facts, which are shell scripts, Python or Ruby scripts, um, have to return a value that is either a simple um, key value pair, so a simple fact, or a YAML or a JSON document. So let's start playing around uh, with custom facts. First of all, I'm going to create the etc factor facts.d directory. C factor facts.d. Let's create a custom fact called custom fact. Query for the custom fact with right now factor custom fact. It's undefined. Now we create the file, I mean the directory, etc factor facts.t. I'm now creating a file custom fact.txt and we set custom fact. When we save this file, so once again in the directory etc factor facts.t we have a file custom fact.txt with the content custom fact is hello world. When we query factor now again, custom fact, we get the value hello world. Let's now try to create a structured custom fact. For this I'm going to copy the file vagrant, example, puppet configuration management, structured fact.yammer to the current directory, so etc factor facts.d. There's now our structured fact.yammer file. Let's look at the content. We have a fact called structure, fact1, subfact, and a subvalue, subfact2, subvalue2, fact2, value1. So if we now query our structure fact, we get the exact same, same uh, structure we have defined in the YAML file back. This time as JSON because it's the default output, but if we run factor dash y, as you can see, the YAML output looks the same as the one we defined in structurefact.yaml. So as a last example, we are going to deploy an executable custom fact. For this I'm going to copy Vagrant, example, puppet management python fact.py, the current directory, which is etc factor facts.t. There's now the python fact.py and it's executable. Let's look at our custom executable fact. It's a simple python script. We're using JSON. We define a python dictionary, python key, python subkey 1, python subkey 2, and we dump python dictionary data with json.dumps. If we call this right now, you can see we get a JSON document back. Let's now try to query our Python custom executable fact with factor python key1 and we get our sub keys back and if we query python key2 we get the value back. So this works as well. Going to distribute um, your custom facts within your Puppet modules. So you are going to include your custom fact in a puppet module in the directory facts.d. If you would like to test your custom fact with factor, you have to execute factor with the minus p option. 
if you're not going to use the minus p option, which tells Factor also to include facts that get distributed with puppets, they won't show up in the output. The minus p option to Factor is kind of legacy. There's a newer variant for querying puppet distributed facts with the command puppet facts. Puppet.com would like to move from factor minus p to puppet facts, but currently they're not feature complete. Um, you can't query specific facts with puppet facts. So for example, os.family. It does not work. It always returns all the facts from the system. And if we use the factor minus p os.family, it works. You can query single facts with factor minus p. So always remember, if you're using um, facts included in your modules, please execute factor with the minus p option. This is all for factor right now.